This is the first ever Lego boat, and today I'm gonna see if it floats, along with other boats from Lego's history. It's gonna get pretty crazy. Going all the way back, we have this boat, released in 1961. Let's see if it floats. Oh, water's getting in! It's going under! Okay, so that one doesn't float, but can you blame it? It was LEGO's first attempt at a boat. In 1973, LEGO introduced these floating hull pieces, along with the first official floating boat. It came with this weird keel piece. The keel is weighted so it doesn't tip. Let's see if it really works. In it goes. It floats! This is the first of the LEGO floating boats line. Let's see how that keel works. The keel counteracts the tilting to keep the boat from going under. Okay, so the keel really works. Now I'll test it in rapid water. It's holding up well. The keel is counteracting the waves. Three years later, LEGO made the first floating police boat. They've made a few police boats since then, but this was the first one. It's so old, it was made before the first minifigures. So they made these guys instead. This is what LEGO policemen looked like in 1976. It also came with a keel, just like the other one. And the instructions even say what kind of water conditions it can have. Now for the test. And it passes. This was made before LEGO produced life preserver pieces, so all they had was these stickers. The cops better not fall out. In 1989, this pirate raft was released. Wow, instruction books have come a long way since those days. This is just like a piece of paper. Nowadays, instructions are a whole book and they explain every single piece. And they even have an index of every piece used. <laughs> That's very different. Now let's see if this pirate's raft will really float. Well, that's a hard fail. Let's just hope this pirate can swim. In the same year, Lego made this pirate boat piece. Let's hope this one floats better. And it floats. This is way better than that lousy raft. <laughs> Life on the open sea. Yo ho ho. This canoe piece was made in 1994. It's all one piece, so I think it might float. It does. Look how close the water is to overflowing. All it'll take is one big wave, and it's going under. In 2006, the Killer Croc speedboat came out. <coughs> then came Lego agents in their agent submarine, and the bad guys in their boat. Let's see which of these two floats. First, the submarine. Now let's test the bad guy boat. Oh no, it's sinking! You know, those cracks in the bottom probably don't help. Yeah, this is a fail. The agents also had this little raft, so let's see if this floats. Yep, it floats. The bad guys also have these flick fire missiles. And a spring-loaded launcher. Can the bad guys use these weapons to sink the raft? Or will they sink first? Fire the flick fire missiles. Okay, that didn't do anything. Fire the spring-loaded launcher. Yeah, direct hit, but at what cost? Maybe the agents will do better in this speedboat. Will it sink? It's under the water. <coughs> now we'll test the old shark piece and the new redesigned shark. Who can swim better? Not much difference, really. Now what about the old crocodile versus the new crocodile? They're both just floating upside down. This surfer was a collectible minifigure. Turns out he can't really surf. <coughs> what about this speedboat? <coughs> At least this one comes with a real life preserver. Next, in 2011, the Destiny's Bounty came out. <coughs> well, that didn't even work for a second. It's also supposed to be able to fly. Let's try that out. You just need to transform it, and now it's in flight mode. So much for flight mode. Now let's test this giant sailboat. The crew is entirely ghosts. And there's even a rat living in there. Will they be able to sail in the water? It's floating, but the water's coming in. They're sinking. Oh, the humanity. Let's do some quick ones now. 
Batman Speedboat. Shima Crocodile. The Mystery Boat. This one's just holding on. It's so close to sinking. A Minecraft rowboat. What about this giant Arctic Explorer? It's got an anchor, ladders on the side, and even a helicopter pad on the back. This helicopter is pretty cool, but let's look at an older one. This helicopter is from 1988, and it fits pretty well on there. This older helicopter held up pretty well. It looks good, even compared to the newer one. Well, this boat works great. It floats because the hull is made of one big piece. There's also a spot on the bottom of this piece to attach a motor. In 2005, LEGO actually made electric propeller pieces, and I got one to test in the water. Oh, it's going backward. Okay, I fixed it. Now it works properly. It's too powerful! It capsized the ship! Let's see how some of the other boats handle this. Starting with the first one. Oh man, that old boat didn't hold up very well. This one's doing donuts! Now for the police boat. This one sails perfectly with the motor. So let's get back to testing whether boats can float. Next, let's try this police patrol boat and these crooks. Let's see if the crooks can get away in real water or if they'll sink. The robber boat floats. They're getting away. Can the police catch them? This isn't really that intense. This is the Viking longboat from Thor. It's supposed to be able to fly, but we're not trying that again. Let's just see if it floats. That was an immediate fail. Now let's look at some modern Lego sets, like this friend's yacht. They've got an adjustable sail, a map, an onboard computer, and radar, and even one of these propeller things that predicts the wind. They're ready for anything! They weren't ready for that. You know, those holes in the bottom probably didn't help. This police speedboat was built to chase this robber with a propeller. The robber is escaping! Send in the police! That's so close to sinking. Well, at least he caught the criminal. And that's it. We tested boats from LEGO's entire history. I wonder what LEGO boats will look like in the future.